Hi, this is John Foster, uh, one of the teachers at the art department, and this is a, a really brief intro to what is a book cover. Um, most of my work is uh, book cover work for you know, science fiction, fantasy, comic books, young young adult books, more like whimsical epic adventures, those kinds of things. But of course, book covers can span from the whole horizon of non-fiction to fiction to all the genres of uh, in within each uh, uh, history, um, biography, sciences, to, to fantasy, to adventure, to drama, to um, to you know whatever. It it really doesn't matter. Um, it's and I, here I have open just I, I just typed in book covers for on a Google search, an image search, and um, got all kinds of wonderful uh, variations on. Um, graphic design, uh, illustration, just type, uh, witty, smart, narrative, um, historical, to, uh, let's, let's click on some of these. I don't even know. Granted, but it, it, it caught my, <laughs> it caught my attention. It's probably because of, uh, uh, it it has a certain retro nostalgia to it, but that, that's something to learn. Um, you know, if we wanted to broaden the idea of what a cover is, I'm 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 narrowing it down at this point to a book cover, but there can be covers for albums, CDs, um, covers for uh, many different various kinds of things uh, uh, that aren't necessarily just you know something that wraps around pages of type. And uh, nowadays with ebooks, it's going to change even more so since we're just uh, here. You know, an image that goes with it. Is it a book? I guess it's still a book, but we're not talking about a physical object, but something that helps sell, represent, give a give a, a quick view inside the i the the of what the nature of the story is going to be, and that's my main uh, interest. It came from you know reading H. G. Wells. Um, Edgar Rice Burroughs, um, and uh, mostly a lot of science fiction fantasy growing up. Um, you know, later on, of course, uh, non-fiction bi biographies and um, and uh, histories and just educational work. But I loved the book cover of those. I loved the imagination. I love what they implied about the inside of uh, the content to be, you know, of the adventure that you're about to embark on inside. And that's what it was all about to me, and that's still what uh, making a cover is about for me, is I hope to uh, not depict a particular scene in the book, because I think that's just a kind of a, a yes and no kind of question um, or answer. It's given to you, but something that makes you participate more, uh, something that says, lets you create some of the story in your head. It also implies other possibilities and grander adventure and when I teach about uh, illustrating book covers that's part of what we go into is how to how to grab the attention spark the the imagination and how to make someone want to see more engage them in both the idea of reading the story but you're also engaging them in in the cover itself if you can engage them in the cover and have them fill in some of the gaps and create the story in their head, you've got them. So I hope that gives a little bit of insight and to at least some of my uh, passions about illustrating books. And I uh, hope to see you in class.